this is not about kissing up in any way. Anyone who watches my program or has followed my work over the years knows that I have a profound uh, and deeply loving and abiding relationship with my mother. So I'm always moved by the stories of folk relative to their mothers. And with all due respect to the great stories in this book, the thing that I'm most moved by, quite frankly, uh, is your sharing about your mother and what your mother told you when you had returned from being a POW and had some not so nice things to say about those who held you captive. <laughs> you, got, you got to share that story. It's a great story. Uh, my mother is now 93 and she's incredibly active and in, incredibly uh, involved. She's always loved uh, politics. But uh, I wrote a book with Mark Salter uh, back in 2000, 1999, and, uh, and we. Um, uh, describe my experience in prison and one of the experiences was being taken from one cell to another to interrogation where I would yell obscenities at the guards in order to raise the morale of my fellow prisoners who I knew could hear me in surrounding cells and some of those were printed in an article that was reprinted in a magazine that was reprinted from the book and the words were used there and so I got a phone call one day my mom said my mom said Johnny and I said yes and she said I just read the excerpts from that book that you wrote and I said well mom what did you think and she said I'm coming over there and wash your mouth out with soap I never taught you to use words like that I said mom these were bad guys who were really bad people she said that's no excuse I never taught you to use language like that I'm, I'm happy you know that your mommy still calls you Johnny that's what that <laughs> still does yeah, yeah. still calls you yeah.